ಭಕ್ತಿರ್ಭವಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ದೇವಕಿ ನಂದನಾಯ ನಂದಗೋಪ ಕುಮಾರಾಯ ಗೋವಿಂದಾಯ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಮಃ ಪಂಕಜನಾಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಪಂಕಜ ಮಾಲಿನಿ ನಮಃ ಪಂಕಜ ನೇತ್ರಾಯ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಪಂಕಜಾಂಗ್ರೇ ಓಂ ಅಜ್ಞಾನತಿ ನಿರಂಧಸ ಜ್ಞಾನಾಂಜನ ಶಲಾಕಯ ಚಕ್ಷುರ್ ಉನ್ಮಿಲಿತ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮನೋಭಿಷ್ಟ ಸ್ಥಾಪಿತ ಯೇನ ಭೂತಲೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ರೂಪ ಕದಾ ಮಹಿಂ ದಾತಿ ಸ್ವಪದಾಂತಿ ವಂದೇಹಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರೌ ಶ್ರೀಯುತಾಪದ ಕಮಲ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರು ವೈಷ್ಣವಾಂ ಶ್ರೀರೂಪ ಸಾಗ್ರ ಜಾತ ಸಹಗಣ ರಘುನಾಥಾನ್ವಿತ ಸಜೀವ ಸಾಧ್ವೈತ ಸಾವಧೂತ ಪರಿಜನ ಸಹಿತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ದೇವ ಶ್ರೀರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪಾದ ಸಹಗಣ ಲಲಿತಾ ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶಾಖಾನ್ವಿತ ನಮಾ ಓಂ ವಿಷ್ಣುಪಾದ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಷ್ಠಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣಿ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣಿ ನಮೋ ಮಹಾವದನ್ಯಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಪ್ರದಾಯತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ನಾಮಿನೆ ಗೌರತ್ವಶೇ ನಮಃ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರುಣ ಸಿಂಧೋ ದೀನಬಂಧೋ ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿಕಾ ಕಾಂತ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ಸಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಭಾನು ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಣಮಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಕಾಂಕ್ಷಾಕಲ್ಪ ತರುಭ್ಯ ಕೃಪಾ ಸಿಂಧುಭ್ಯ ಪತಿತ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಾಸಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ I welcome all of you for continuation of the discussion on a very, very, very special section of Srimad Bhagavatam first canto, the Kunti Maharani's prayer. So, as I was telling, actually, Bhagavatam's heart is the heart of pure devotee. And that's the most confidential thing. And that's what is actually Kunti Maharani here we are seeing what is there in her heart. So, that is the most amazing part of shrimad bhagavatam we are trying to discuss so let us remember some glories of shrimad bhagavatam through few shlokas before entering into the beautiful uh, expression of shrimati kunti maharani who is propat calls her the most intelligent woman you know? so let us remember some glories of shrimad bhagavatam sarva shastra piyusha sarva vedaika satphala ಸರ್ವಸಿಧಾಂತರತ್ನಾಢ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೈಕದೃಕ್ಪ್ರದ ಸರ್ವಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತ ಪ್ರಭೋ ಕಳೌ ಧ್ವಾಂತೋದಿತೋದಿತ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪರಿವರ್ತಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಪಾಠಾಯ ಪ್ರೇಮ ವರ್ಷಾಕ್ಷರಾಯತೆ ಸರ್ವಸೇವ್ಯಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಮೇ ಮದೇಕಬಂಧೋ ಮತ್ಸಂಗೀ ಮದ್ಗುರು ಮದ್ಮಹಾಧನ ಅನ್ಯಾರಕ ಮಾಖ್ಯೋ ಮದಾನಂದ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಅಸಾಧು ಸಾಧು ತಾದಾಯಿನ್ ಅತಿ ನೀಚೋಚ್ಚ ತಾರಕ ಆನಾಮಂಚಕದಾಚಿನ್ಮ ಪ್ರೇಮ್ನಾ ಹೃತ್ಕಂಠಯೋ ಸುರ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತ ಮಹಾಪುರಾಣ ಕೀ ಜೋ 
जिनकी महारानी की जाए हरे कृष्णा तो वी आर लुकिंग एट दिस सेक्शन ऑफ प्रेयर्स द ग्लोरियस प्रेयर्स ऑफ श्रीमती कुंती देवी तो कंटिन्यूइंग दैट एंड कृष्णा विलिंग टुडे एंड टुमारो विल कंप्लीट दिस चैप्टर टुमारो फॉर वन आवर टुडे टू आवर बट अर इज पॉसिबल विल डू दैट तो वी कंप्लीटेड वर्स नंबर आई थिंक नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट सेक्शन राइट वर्स नंबर थर्टी आई थिंक या लाइक दिस इफ यू सी ट्वेंटी एट टू फोर्टी या ट्वेंटी एट ट्वेंटी नाइन थर्टी वी कंप्लीटेड थर्टी फर्स्ट वॉज रिमेन सो जस्ट आई विल रिकेपचुलेट कुंती महारानी हैज एक्सप्रेस हर humility that you know i can just offer obeisances to you my lord so that's how she externally is saying and deeply in heart she is revealing to us how krishna is not so easy to be perceivable you know krishna is covered by the maya javanika you know? so uh, that is the first section from 18 to 20 where she is offering respects at the same time she is revealing how krishna is as a bhagwan he is imperceptible Alakshatva, Krishna is Alakshatva is told, and the reasons are also told. Then Krishna, how Krishna is giving happiness to so many of them, like Krishna ya Vasudeva. So there we see the the depth of the devotion of devotees goes on increasing from Vasudev till Gopis. Then Tapa Haritva is Krishna's duty, which he is seeing in front of. Har namo pankaj na bhaya etc. But Krishna's beauty is very soothing. Stop a hari. It is not agitating like the beauty of this material world. Apart from temporariness, it agitates. Krishna's beauty is not like that. Having said that, then she is remembering her stop a hari to or swa stop a hari from smarayati anusmarati. there she is remembering all the difficulties krishna helped her specifically krishna is more merciful to me than devaki although devaki is had more devotion and love than me but i am more wretched and fallen and krishna is dinabandhu krishna saved me many times along with my son whereas krishna saved devaki once without son So she is expressing that her fortune, but non-enviousness, and then she is recounting all the difficulties she underwent in a flash in her heart. After that, she speaks a very important aspect that what is value, what is to be valued in this world. So she speaks that vipadas are my the sampada actually, my vipadas. That means the vipadas which have come in my life are my real wealth. Because why? Because in that I get opportunity to see you, opportunity to experience the sweetness of your remembrance and reciprocation. Hmm? That's why she is willing. It is not that she wants misery. She wants to experience constant Krishna's presence and reciprocation. which comes more when there are difficult so that is what is she saying that is my true sampad and what is vipad for entire world that is vip sampada that is janma aishwarya shuta shibir but for me it is vipad hmm? that because one cannot call out you feeling hmm? why because his vision is intoxicated hmm? so his vision is intoxicated because of uh, increasing pride e dhamana mada puman so she is calling krishna jagat guru you are guru guru means what who removes the intoxication in the vision so he gives the vision proper vision to see the reality of this world the intoxication goes away so actually the intoxication which comes by intoxicants like tea coffee cigarette Uh, nicotine is not so much problematic actually in one sense because it goes away in few hours 
but the intoxication which comes by false pride of janma aishwarya shuddha shiver it can't go away but keeps on increasing so that intoxication vision is destroyed by krishna by putting anjan of vipada so that's how she really glorifies and then at the end she says my dear lord you are akinchan gochara and uh, you are property of impoverished so that verse comes beautiful namo akinchana vittaya so she is again offering obeisance saying that please fulfill my desire you know so i offer obeisance so that uparath manoratham samarpayitu i have expressed some manorath so you fulfill my manorath so i offer you obeisance again that is 27 verse that is namo akinchana vittaya nivrutta guna vrittaye ittadi so akinchana vitta is lord is property of those who are kinchana means do do they don't have anything other than krishna like sanatan goswami yesterday we were remembering him because sundar shampo beautifully spoke about his past times so specific past time of brahmana was narrated in the in prabhupat no so they can only give krishna and they cannot give anything else because they don't have anything so that is akinchana so that such bhaktas only property is krishna so this is one meaning akinchana vittaya such krishna who is a property of akinchana bhaktas i offer my obeisance another meaning of akinchana vitta is krishna whose only wealth is his pure devotees hmm? so sadhunam hrudayam mayam sadhunam hrudayam tu aham hmm? so there is nothing else krishna also krishna's wealth is his pure devotees hmm? and is controlled by them so that is another meaning and then we saw nivrutta guna vrtte ittadi how krishna is atmaram towards others you know who speak anything he doesn't get affected by their words atmaram but he is very kind and forgiving to the devotees who commit mistake shantaya kaivalyapati means some devotees want liberation he gives liberation so that's how the value system is explained and then continuing there then we saw the the section of lord's birth and past time so past time section we were discussing last time so uh, that section began with verse text 28 so what is this four verses speaking is how krishna is tarka gochara tarka a gochara means what tarka means logic tarka means we not understand krishna and his past time through logic and reason that is what is the the jiv goswami saying that satu tu suswabhava tarka gochara so my dear lord your beautiful nature is beyond any tarka beyond any logic and reason that is told in four verses so there so we saw this three verses now uh, text 28 was speaking about how lord is uh, actually <clears throat> equal no uh, equal to everyone so it started uh, with the verse how lord deals with non devotees in form of death manne tvam kalam ishanam anadhi nidanam vibhum tamam charantam sarvat you are completely equal to everyone but bhutanam yan mithakkali so mithakkali means lord appears to be partial and people criticize the lord to be partial because they experience happiness and distress in their life but they are experiencing because of their own destiny and karma so lord is a nimitta karan there so that's what she is saying although people have so many conceptions about you but that is completely wrong you are equal my lord to everyone then uh, uh, lord krishna says that you know if uh, i dear kunti maharani i am sitting you know i am known as parth sarthi you know how how can you say i am not duryodhan sarthi hmm. so how can you say that i am i took part in with pandavas right so how can you say that i am uh, 
impartial i am equal so she says next text 29 what is what is that uh, how it starts nate text 29 एक्टिविटीज are done with a desire iham anasya means lord this what lord desire nrnam vidambanam so there are two meanings so we discuss that that first meaning of nrnam is those who want to understand krishna by their intelligence so they get bewildered thoroughly no there are so many people who are bewildered by it. so they keep on understanding but krishna by his activities make them com- their knowledge completely fruitless ज्ञान वैफल्यम फॉर होम दो यूजिंग तर्क टू अंडर कृष्णा फास्ट है सो दट इज विडंबनम विडंबनम मीन्स ही मेक्स देअर नॉलेज शूटाइज विडंबन हो देअर नॉलेज सो नृणाम हियर रेफर्स टू दो सो टू से यूजिंग इंटेलिजेंस टू अंडरस्टैंड कृष्णा फास्ट टाइम्स बट नॉट डिवोशन नॉट परम का सो दैट इज नृणाम विडंबनम second nadam vidamana nuna is general people in general so they also have heroes they have actors actresses politicians charactered people no so they all exhibit their qualities their charitra there is beauty everything their compassion but when krishna comes and he performs past time they all heroes become zeros they all the heroes their charitra their beauty their sweet their speech everything becomes laughing stock because of there cannot be comparison with krishna with any of the living entities beauty charitra or guna you know character guna beauty interactions cannot be compared krishna is super excellent or you know you just cannot compare laughing stock you understand laughing stock you make that laughing stock because when you come anything what to speak of nrnam you know next verse is speaking you come as when you come as varaha and narsimha so that verse she is continuing the flow but uh, text 30 janma karma cha vishwatman ajasya akartur anatmanaha what is the focus of this verse is after telling that my dear lord you are equal but you make this uh, knowledge of uh, intellectuals futile and you make laughing stock those people who say that they are charactered beautiful and good qualities etc but nayasya kashit daitosti karichit for you there is no particular dear or particular hatred you do good for everyone even for duryodhan even for karna for everyone you did good on it's up to them that they did wrong so that we discussed prabhupad gives a brilliant example i think here only or the previous yeah about the sun ray i mean sun and the receptivity of object so my dear lord you are impartial like sun but there are some people who are atheist so they are they become displeased when sun rises hmm? so just as sun Uh, you know that example analogy we discuss so prabhupad also gives that analogy right so that analogy is there the essential point there is it depends on receptivity you see krishna krishna is equal to everyone hmm? just as krishna can ref- sun can reflect entire his power to a surya kant jewel so like devotee or brahma for example So Brahma is empowered by the Lord because he is in line with the Lord, the duty of Lord. Hmm? Those who are blind, they are indifferent to sun. Hmm? Those who are thieves and rogues, they become displeased when sun rises. So these thieves and rogues are like atheist and angry people. Hmm? 
right? And charvaki birds, they become very happy when sun rises. So they are like devotees. So whether sun is changing or sun is partial, not at all. Sun is equal to everyone, but the object receptivity is different. So my dear Lord, you are equal to everyone. Actually, the people say that Lord is impartial to Pandavas, but Kunti Maharani being a Pandava, she is saying, my dear Lord, you are not partial. You are good. You cannot. For you, there is no one who is not your own. Everyone is your own only. Unke liye, Parampujya Radha Govind Maharaj says, Unke liye paraya koi hai hi nahi hai. Sabhi log hamare apne hi hai. So, koi bhi ho, Duryodhan ho, ya Arjun ho, sabhi unke apne hai. So, wo bhaav se wo hamesha sam hai. That's how she said text 30. Having said that, uh, sorry, 28, Having said that, 30 and 31 go further. That my dear Lord, now this Vidamban, see Vidamban has different things. So Vidamban in 30th verse means you completely bewildered people by coming in forms like, you know, Varahadev and you become like a boar and you do activities of boar exactly, fully absorbed in that. And foolish people will think that uh, this board is also like due to karma. So, Vidamban. No? So, that is one thing. Tiryan Nrushu Rushish Nrushishu Yadasu Tadatti Atyanta Vidambanam. So, Tiryan is Varahadev, Matsya, Avatar, etc. You come, you exactly act like them. You are the best of that. And you bewilder many people because of that. Nrishishu means Nar Narayan Rishi. You come and perform austerities. And Indra wants to bewilder you by sending Apsaras. And, and you, you don't get bewildered by anything. And rather you give the beautiful Apsara that is Urvashi, which is born, created from the thigh of the Lord to Indra. So that is Nrishishu. You do so much of tapasya. But you do, you do the, you show the highest thing. Hmm? Yadasu. Hmm? That, that is Matsya Avatar in water. Tadati hmm? Atyanta Vidambanam. That is extremely bewildering. Because you take an inferior position to even humans. Hmm? So that's why it is uh, Vidambanam. So their Vidambanam is extremely bewildering. Now text 31 is the climax of it. And uh, a very important verse where what is told is even I am Vimohati. So that is text 31. So we'll go to that text. Before going there, you see the flow of Kunti Maharani's prayers actually. So Chris, Kunti Maharani has spoken about how Krishna cannot be perceived, what is to be valued, and uh, she's expressing gratitude. Then she is talking about Krishna, jan, karma and janma. So janma section we'll do now. So, so many people think so many things. That is 32 to 30. So Lord's karma and janma, her understanding, her clarity is seen in her understanding of Lord's janma and karma very clearly by mercy of Krishna. And 37 to 43 or 37 onwards are the very special expression of her heart. The feelings of separation of Kunti Maharani. She is expressing her heart from text 37 and 41, 42, 43 is the climax of her heart. Her unalloyed one-pointed devotion is seen through her aspiration. So that's how these beautiful prayers are set in, in the way Kunti Maharani is offering. So let us go to text 31. Text 31 Very beautiful verse which takes us to the highest Vrindavan Dham and as understood by Srila Kunti Devi. Hmm? So let us recite together. Gopya Dade Tvai Krita Gasidamata Vad Yate Dashashuka Lilan Jana Sam Brahmaksham Vatram Nini Abhaya Bhavanaya Sitasya 
tamam vimohayati bhir api yadhi bheti. Yeah, please read the translation. Hare Krishna. Yes, someone can read the please. I have not shared anything. Okay, PPT is shared, I'm sorry. Yeah, now you can see. Yes, please. Yes. My dear Krishna, Yashoda took up a rope to bind you. Then you committed an offense, and your perturbed eyes overflowed with tears, which washed the mascara from your eyes. And you were afraid, though fear personified is afraid of you. This sight is bewildering to me. Yeah. So she is expressing her personal experience. Then. Actually, some of the Acharyas, like Vallabh Acharya says that actually Kunti Maharani was there when Damodar Leela happened. Hmm? So that's why she is saying that I saw your emotions of fear. Hmm? So that's how she is saying that it bewilders me. So now what is this bewilderment? This bewilderment is not like bewilderment of this Tarka people, you know. This bewilderment is out of her affection and attraction to Krishna and appreciation of Yashoda. That is the point here. Because Kunti Maharani has Vatsalya toward Krishna. So she has, she is having in her heart great affection for uh, Yashoda. So as we saw in the previous verse, Krishna Vasudevaya, there we saw that she is glorifying Vasudev is the most fortunate because my connection began to you through him. But more fortunate is Devaki because she is your mother. But more fortunate is Nanda Maharaj because he could see your childhood pastimes which Devaki and Vasudev couldn't see. Nanda Gopa Kumaraya. And more fortunate than that is Yashoda which is not mentioned in that verse. Why? Because Yashoda's appreciation will come in this verse. But the highest are who? Govindaya Namonamaha. They are the gopis. So Govinda word means those who, one who gives pleasure to princes of the gopis. That is the highest fortune. So Kunti Maharani knows whom Krishna loves the most, who are the most fortunate and most intimate people. It is gopis. But her attraction is in Vatsalaras. So she is specifically glorifying Yashoda here in this particular verse, remembering the sweetness of Krishna in this particular verse. What is that sweetness? Let us try to understand the verse. Ya gopya dade tvai krita gasidama tavat yate dashashru kalilanjana sambramash yate dasha that your uh, dasha is the situation or what Prabhupada has translated dasha as situation, yeah. Dasha, in Marathi, some of you understand. Dasha. Hmm? Yate Dasha, which Dasha, when the Gopi, you did offense to Yashoda and she came running behind you with a stick. And that time I saw you. How? Dasha Ashru Kalilanjana Sambramaksha. So many Ashrus with all the mascara getting affected by that. And the eyes are completely fearful. Sambram Aksham. Aksham means eyes. Sambram means fearful. Hmm? Vaktram Niniya. Vaktram means lotus face. Niniya means going down. Bhaya Bhavanaya. With great fear in the heart. Sthitasya. You are situated great fear in heart. That sight of you bewilders me. Okay, then why Samam Vimal, Yate Dasha, this particular vision, actually which is beautifully zoomed by Satyabrat Muni in his Dhamadarashtakam. So the whole Dhamadarashtakam is condensed in this verse. So that that Dasha she is remembering actually, if you see the entire thing. Samam Vimal, that bewilders me. Why did it bewilders me? Because my dear Lord, Bhirapi Yadvibeti, 
यू आर द पर्सन हु गिव फियर टू इवन फियर पर्सनिफाइड इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट सी दिस गोज टू शो दैट कृष्णा वॉज नॉट डूइंग ड्रामा ऑफ बिकमिंग फियरफुल दिस हेज टू बी वेरी क्लियरली अंडरस्टूड दैट इट इज नॉट दैट Krishna performed past time. It is like a drama actor doing some drama role. No, Krishna is completely absorbed in what, whatever role he is taking in his past times with his devotees. So it is not drama. What is the proof? She is saying, "Bhaya bhavanaya." I am seeing that you are genuinely feeling fearful, which is seen in your eyes. and your face hmm? actually the real emotion of any person even if he tries to hide he cannot hide from a person who knows face is the index of mind so eyes and the face are especially lips that's what is said so she is remembering all these things that i saw you being fearful hmm? although you are you can make fear also fearful yairapi advibhet so this shows krishna's past times are not drama they are true exchange of affection and love and the highest quality of that sweetness is in this verse what is that one word or one thing which represent a sweetness of krishna in this verse can someone say which she is appreciating what what is the sweetness of krishna in this particular verse any any comments or any thing in this particular verse or past time yes anyone wants to say yes madan mohan bro want to say something Hare Krishna. Okay. So, Prabhu Ji, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Who is speaking? Prabhu Ji, Tulsi Priya Devi Dasi. Yeah, Tulsi Priya yeah. Mataji. Please. Prabhu Ji, uh, is is in this past time Damodar Lila? It is a Krishna's fear, which Lord yeah. can control the whole world, and he's getting with the stick. One stick is getting fear of his mother. Just one small stick is shifting, and that is very amazing. The Lord can control the whole world, and now he's getting scared with getting stick. I mean, getting scared with yeah. one stick, which he saw yes. learned from his mother. Yes. And yes, you are exactly saying the right thing. Just the same thing said in other way is bhakta vashyata. He is controlled by his devotees. So this is Vrindavan. This you don't find anywhere else, and this is the sweetness of Vrindavan, which Kunti Maharani knows. At the same time, we see that Kunti Maharani is not at that consciousness of Yashoda, although she is appreciating Yashoda. How we can see that? Because she has awareness of Krishna's greatness. Which Yashoda doesn't have. That's why she is saying Bhirapi at Bibhati, right? So she is aware of Krishna's greatness. At the same time, she knows the highest thing is Krishna is controlled by Yashoda. The whole world Krishna is binding, but he is getting bound by Yashoda's love. So that is Vrindavan Dham. That is what is appreciated. and you see prabhupada's purport is filled with appreciation of vrindavan and more important than that is the process by which we can attain vrindavan that's what topad writes in his purport brilliant purport so let us go to the purport of shila prabhupad of this verse so prabhupad explains this vidam vanam only yeah please read this whole thing here is a specific example of lord being the supreme 
and at the same time a plaything in the presence of his pure devotee the lord's pure devotee renders service unto the lord out of unalloyed love only and while discharging such devotional service the pure devotee forgets the position of the supreme lord the supreme lord also accepts the loving service of his devotees more relishably when the service is rendered spontaneously out of pure affection without anything of reverential admiration generally the lord is worshiped by the devotees in a reverential attitude but the lord is meticulously pleased when the devotee out of pure affection and love considers the lord to be less important than himself yeah so here we can see prabhupada is also sharing the same thing which we discussed right so but here the important points which prabhupada is saying is that everyone tries to please the lord but when the service is rendered spontaneously out of pure affection this is raganuga bhakti which is done by the brajwasis then lord more relishably right lord also accept more relishably that service right so that is what is the important thing same thing is telling lord is meticulously pleased can you understand how amazing words prabhupada is using pleasing the lord is one thing but meticulously pleasing lord is then only vrindavan bhakti raganuga bhakti pure affection and love where there is no mixture of reverential admiration hmm? so same thing for this particular thing only chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared in this world if you open this maybe one of you can open adi leela i was 4.15 16 if you see that chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared for this meticulously pleasing only that whole world is not pleasing me in one sense you know by vaidhi bhakti <laughs> so that's what is told in those verses if any one of you anyway and i can read yeah see prema rasa nya karite aswadan raga marge bhakti loke karite pracharan so krishna this is krishna after going back he left this world after giving bhagavad gita and after that he is thinking and he came again so with this plan he came prema rasa niryas korite aswadan so he came to taste the prem ras in form of shrimati radharani's emotion raga marga bhakti loke karite pracharan for preaching which marga raga marga right rasika shekhar krishna param karuna ei dui haitu haite ichhara udgama so this to desires awakened in his heart so rashik shekhar krishna who is bhandar of ras he is extremely merciful then he appeared as lord chaitanya hmm? so you see this verse aishwarya janete sab jagat mishrita aishwarya shithila preme nahi mora prita yeah, please read the translation lord krishna thought all the universe is filled with the conception of my majesty but love weakened by that sense of majesty does not satisfy me yeah lord is saying this same thing what meticulously pleased means we are discussing so aishwarya shithila preme nahi mora prita lord is explaining this that this the love which is offered with reverential admiration through vaidhi bhakti doesn't please doesn't please me hmm? then what pleases amara ishwara mane apana ke hi tara prem avash ami nahaye adhin hmm? if one regards me as supreme lord himself supreme lord and himself as subordinate i do not become subservient to his love nor it can control me hmm? neither i become subservient nor he can control me but what i like amata ye bhakta bhaje ei bhave tare se 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 bhave bhaji e mora swabhave in whatever transcendental mellow my devotee worships me i reciprocate with him that is my natural behavior that is ye athamam prapadyante that is the next verse and then he says this mora putra mora sakha mora pranapati 
એવી ભાવે એ મોરે ખરે શુદ્ધ ભક્તિ આપના કે બડા માને આમાં સમાહીન તે ભાવે હાય આ મિતાહાર આધિત વેરી સિમ્પલ મિનિંગ યુ કેન અન્ડરસ્ટેન્ડ દટ કરે શુદ્ધ ભક્તિ સો વેન યુ સે પ્યોર અનાલાઇડ ડિવોશન દેટ ઇઝ વોટ ઇઝ ધીસ ડિવોશન ઓફ વૃંદાવન વેર પર્સન ઓફર સર્વિસ ઇઝ સ્પોન્ટેનિટી રાગાનું કા ભક્તિ દેટ ઇઝ શુદ્ધ ભક્તિ એકચ્યુઅલી સો દેન લોર્ડ બિકમ લોર્ડ બિકમ તાહાર અધીન સો ધીસ ઇઝ વોટ મેટિક્યુલસલી પ્લીઝેસ ધ લોર્ડ this is what prabhupad is saying here in this particular purport and go the same thing <clears throat> lord first time in original abode of golok prindar and exchange in that spirit hmm? so he came exchange the experience but when krishna went he was not happy because no one followed that so chaitanya mahaprabhu ki hmm? so prabhupad goes on to glorify vrindavan like anything in this particular purport hmm? so lord is happy with the chastisement of parents than the, the song sung by the brahmana so more than you know vedic hymns lord is happy with the angry moods of his beloved fiances so that is so many places in bhagavatam it comes what is that uh, is beautiful verse which says sarva shruti manohara ananya asit sanjalpa sarva shruti manohara he displayed a unique picture of subordination before his foster mother yashoda hmm? so prabhupad compares kunti and yashoda hmm? he glorifies even vrindavan monkeys you know hmm? so <coughs> so picture of lord is adored by kunti devi because she is conscious of lord supreme position so this all things prabhupad is mentioning here which already we discussed so yashoda is superior than kunti and kunti is superior to even devaki actually that's how it is so lastly prabhupa say indirectly mother yashoda is praised for her unique position of love for she could control even the all powerful lord as a beloved child so prabhupa has put all the acharya's commentary together very beautifully in his beautiful verse so having said about krishna's past time so swat shila vishwana chakravarti thakur says in this particular verse he said we should give, become indifferent to analyzing the past times of krishna why he does what he does but we should relish krishna's past times because krishna is fully absorbed in his past times especially of nrulila especially of vrindavan so let me relish the past time that's how that's how this verse is intended tarka gocharta is concluded in these four verses saying that leave your brain aside and just relish krishna's past time that's all that's the meaning here but that doesn't mean that we don't study the literature given by shila prabhupad and previous acharya otherwise we will not understand this glory so by trying to study and understand as prabhupad says rupa ragunatha pade hoi ve akuti means what tabe hama bujabo se yugala priti is when we study the literature left by roop and ragunath then i can understand vinda so we should study means use our intelligence with desire to receive mercy of krishna to understand krishna but un- we have to understand that we cannot understand but become krishna consciousness by absorbing in those wonderful hari kathas hmm? so this is and relish that that's what kunti maharani is telling that's what vishwanath says that my dear lord i just relish your past time this so this vimohan is out of great joy so having said about past times now she says about the birth of krishna so so many people say so many things about krishna's birth but my dear lord i know exact reason hmm? so what is that reason that will come towards the end of this section hmm? from 32 so such lord who bewilders the entire world is very difficult to know but without he appearing in this world how can we relish the past times so my dear lord is you appeared so so many people think in so many ways that you appeared why you appeared so that is told in fourth verse four verses 
so let us 32 to uh, 32 33 34 35 actually hmm? so and she concludes with her opinion after saying others opinion so yeah ke ahur ajam jatam punya shloka se kirtaye yado priya syanvayaye malaya seva chandanam yeah please read the translation translation some say that the unborn is born for the glorification of pious kings and others and others say that he is born to please king yadu one of your dearest devotees you appear in his family as sandalwood appears in the malai hills yeah so lord appeared to glorify his devotee either pandu uh, sorry king yadu in his dynasty he appeared or uh, he refers to Yudhishthir Maharaj also. Hmm? So you just appear because of your appearance, the dynasty becomes beautiful, just as Malaya Seva Tanyan. So Prabhupada writes the same principle in his purport. Hmm? So we glorify anyone because of connection with Krishna, not by anything else. So Prabhupada says, Nala Maharaj is also very famous. But that fame is not with relation with Krishna. Hmm? But Yudhishthir Maharaj, that is with Krishna. Hmm? So Prabhupada gives example. Text 33. What about other people? Some say some other thing. Aparevasu devasya devakyam yachito bhagat ajastvamaksa shemaya vadhaya chasurat visham. Please read the translation. Others say that since both Vasudev and Devaki prayed for you, you have taken your birth as their son. Undoubtedly, you are unborn. Yet, you take your birth for their welfare and to kill those who are envious of the demigods. Yeah. So, this is another reason. So, Vasudev Devuki prayed for you. That's why you came. What more reasons? So, Prabhupada gives history that Devuki Vasudev did Kapasya and all those things. Text 34. Some other people, what they say? Bharavatara Anayani. Bhuo nama ivo dadhau sidantya bhori bharen jato yatma bhu artitaha. Yeah, please read the translation. Other say. Yes, please say. Someone can read it. Others say that the world being overburdened like a boat at sea is much aggrieved and that Brahma who is your son prayed for you and so you have appeared to diminish the trouble. Yeah. So there are other people who say that because of uh, you know cow when no, Kamsa created so much of problem that's why cow was Cow, mother earth in form of cow approached the mind, then Maji prayed and you appeared. Right? Some people say this, some people say that. So Prabhupada in his purport explains Atma Bhuvad, Atma Bhuva, Arthitaha. Arthitaha means prayers. Whose prayer? Atma Bhuva. So Prabhupada writes purport based on this Atma Bhuva means who is Atma Bhuva? Brahma is born from without Lakshmi, you know, that is omnipotent Lord, etc. And actually, this is another. Supremacy of Krishna or Vishnu, that any problem comes in universal administration, they approach Vishnu. So Prabhupada writes that particular principle glorifying the supremacy of Krishna. Because Brahmaji also prays, Shiva, Brahma, all these people, right? So that he says. Having said this, she gives her opinion. So it's extremely important to understand actually. It's Bhagavad Gita also. There are shlokas which tell why Lord appears, right? So, which are the shlokas which say Lord, why Lord appears? Yes, anyone say? Paritranaya Correct. Yes, these two verses, right? One is actually Yada Yadai Dharmasya Glanir Bhavati Bharata Abhithanam Dharmasya Tadatmanam Pajam. So, this is a general reason of any appearance of any incarnation. Okay. So, dharmasya glani, when dharma goes down, I manifest. Next verse is telling, paritranaya sadhuna, vinashaya chadushkuta. 
so destroying the demon and delivering the sadhus and dharma samsthapana artha to establish principles of religion in a very full way complete way samyak rupena sam sthapana karne ke liye main aata hu so this is specifically referring to krishna so paritrana sadhana here means krishna comes to deliver sadhus so what sadhus is sadhus deliver others so what sadhus are deliverance being talked about here yes anyone can say paritrana ya sadhuna so sadhus actually true sadhus deliver others they don't need deliverance so what is they delivered from yes ram kishor so they have they are missing the lord so they are always trying to have association with lord so lord comes to give them his association yes so they are delivered from the pain of separation that is paritranaya it is not to protect sadhus it is to give them a, a relief from the pangs of separation from him so their lord cannot send anyone else for dharma samsthapana evo karne ke liye no he can send every you can send sages he can come with incarnation you know but when the devotees are in separation he has to personally come so this paritrana is sadhana means for the pure devotees of krishna krishna personally comes to remove their separation and then next verse tells the general reason for devotee why lord appears what is the next one bhagavad gita so this is 4.6 Six, seven, and I think seven, eight, nine, right? So the next verse is telling something what Kinti Maharani is telling here. Hmm? So you can see that verse, and at the end of this discussion, someone can tell that verse, four point nine, which is one of the most important verses of Bhagavad Gita. So, so that is the main, the reason for general devotees why Lord appears. Hmm? So, text thirty-five is the opinion of Kunti Maharani why Lord appears. Text thirty-five. So, let us recite together. Very important verse. Bhavesmin kishamana nam avidya kama karma bhi kamana smara arhani karishan niti kechana. Yeah. Please read the translation. And yet others say that you appeared for the sake of regenerating a devotional service, appearing, remembering, worshiping, and so on, in order that the conditioned soul suffering from material pangs might take advantage and gain liberation. Yeah. So see, this is why by this these verses you can understand the Kunti Maharani how she is so. devoted and intelligent most intelligent as propats language so in this particular verse the first line is explain the condition of conditioned souls in this material world and the root cause of the problem in three words hmm? what is that avidya kama karma bhi so bhavesh mein in this material world bhav where people take birth again and again klishya mana na those who are suffering why they are suffering the entire philosophy of suffering is given in three words there can be nothing more eloquent than what these words of kunti devi avidya kama karma bhi avidya is ignorance kama is desires and karma is action so ignorance of lord and devotional service and material world leads to improper desires or material desires leads to improper actions and that gives suffering so that's what it is that's why if we want to remove suffering we have to deal with the root cause that is avidya we cannot deal with the symptom only so this is in the first line and what is the second line श्रवण स्मरण अर्णी करिष्यन केचन सम पीपल से कुंति महाराणी इज सम पीपल लाइक मी आचार्य टेलिटी सर ओपिनियन सो इन ह्यूमिलिटी सी से सम पीपल से दो रियली इंटेलिजेंट 
श्रवण स्मरण अरहाणी करीत मीन्स वॉट माय डियर लॉर्ड फॉर सच पीपल आउट ऑफ कंपेशन यू अपियर एंड परफॉर्म पास टाइम्स सो दैट पीपल कैन डिस्कस अबाउट यू पीपल कैन डू हियर अबाउट यू पीपल कैन रिमेम्बर युअर पास टाइम्स पीपल कैन वर्शिप यू so that is the core reason of lord's appearance that you become the object of their talk you become the object of their shravan and kirtan and arhan and smaran because if you don't come if you don't perform past time then what we are going to talk about we will talk about actor actresses politicians boss school teachers or authorities in brahmacharya ashram <laughs> so basically we will not talk about you we will just talk about all these things which are all useless prajal pavan nothing else so you become that object hmm? so that is the main reason for devotees lord comes so that's the meaning which is there in 4.9 janma karma ch me divyam evam yo vetti tatvatah tektva deham punar janma naiti mamet so this is a simpler method for general devotees that just try to understand krishna's janma and karma that's all hmm? that's what is told so object of shravan smaran arahan hmm? so that is what is krishna's appearance and actually this is the real appearance of krishna which can appear in any way see janmashtami comes once in a year in one sense right krishna appears but krishna can appear if we discuss about krishna because that's why his main reason of appearing and performing past times and this bhagavatam coming is for that purpose so bhagavatam is the object where shavan smaran arhan can be done through that so prabhupad very beautifully says in this purport the, the same thing here so please uh, read from here underlined portion yeah, read this the way of religion from the way of religion am i supposed to read from there yes the way of religion is made by the supreme lord no one can manufacture a new place of religion new path of religion is to accept new path of religion as it is the fashion for certain ambitious persons the factual way of religion is to accept the lord as the supreme authority and thus render service unto him in spontaneous love so interestingly you see prabhupada is telling about what is happening in current society that so many religions are coming <clears throat> and why they are coming because of ambitious people because they have all ulterior motivation they have their own ambition so they cult they say about their own religion and their sadhan and their sadhya but what is the factual way of religion so that is bhakti but prabhupad is not stopping there bhakti of rindavan is factual way of religion anything below that is not factual hmm? so prabhupad saying rendering service unto him in spontaneous love Hmm? so that is factual so that's how prabhupad is telling that the highest bhakti of rindavan is actually factual religion everything else is religion surely hmm? but the highest is rindavan bhakti yeah, please read this unfortunately. unfortunately unfortunately the illusion living beings out of misunderstanding only become servants of the senses by material desire this desire is called avidya or nisayans and out of such illegitimate desire the living being makes different plans for material enjoyment centered about a perverted sex life he therefore becomes entangled in the chain of birth and death by transmigrating into different bodies on different planets under the direction of supreme lord unless therefore one is beyond the boundary of this nescience one cannot get free from the threefold miseries of material life that is law of nature so prabhupad here is very clearly saying the mechanism which we discussed in the three words so illegitimate desire comes because of nishayans and because of illegitimate desire illegitimate activities right so only stopping activities is not enough 
we have to deal with desires which are existing in me also now it's not that wearing this cloth means illegitimate desires have gone but we cannot just shift delete those desires we cannot kill those desires but we have to deal with those desires by cultivating knowledge and proper practice because knowledge means both to know sambandha and to know proper abhideya properly so illegitimate desire has to be dealt by cultivation of proper knowledge hmm? not just trying to say no 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 that is not going to work so that's why we have to to the root to address the problem that is avidya so prabhupad is saying no only one cannot get out of in this three fold other if he doesn't go to the root that is nishayan so that is the anatomy of anartha as done by bhakti vinod thakur in his four stages earlier we discussed that that you know tatva vibhram is the the root of anartha because of tatva vibhram one gets asat trishna so hankri asat trishna leads to offense and offense leads to weakness of heart like uh, the duplicity uh, the envy matsara or pride or uh, what is it kuti nati jeeva himsa and apratishtha pratishthasha and pride these four things are hriday dorbal so if we want to deal with weakness of heart we cannot just uh, keep on avoiding offenses and just you know they saying no to our desires no we have to go to the root of removing our tatva vibrama then all other things will follow so that is what is being said here so lord out of causeless mercy appears before us you know and renovates the principles of devotional service shravana smarana arahani so these are the principles of devotional service and these are the core principles of devotional service which has to be focused in our life hearing chanting remembering etc hmm? so prabhupada is writing all nine of them right adoption of all of our items or any of them can help a conditioned soul get out of tangan right out of navvida bhakti you just engage in any of them or all of them or some of them hmm? yeah so one can come out so this is this part part next work ends this section so shila shrimati kunti devi is telling the result of what she spoke in the previous verse in a very beautiful verse very famous verse so let us recite together text 36 shrunvanti gayanti grananti vikshnasha smaranti nandanti tave hitam jana taiva pashyanta chirena tavakam bhava pravaho paramam padam bhujam yeah please read the translation hari krishna o krishna those who are continuously here chant and repeat your transcendental activities or take pleasure in others doing so certainly see your lotus feet which alone can stop the repetition of birth and death ah so here what the flow of thought of kunti devi is this that previous verse said that okay klishya mananam you came but here she is saying she is clarifying what she wants to say that my dear lord you appear not to just remove the klesha that is the side effect anushangiki klesha nivrutti stu anushangiki main side effect of bhakti the main result of bhakti is प्रेम भक्ति सिद्ध्यर्थम एव कर्माणि करिष्यन यू परफॉर्म योर पास्ट टाइम सो दैट लविंग डिवोशनल सर्विस प्रेम भक्ति कैन बी अटेंड दैट इज द पर्पस एंड दैट इज टोल्ड इन स्वर्स टेक्स्ट 36 प्रेम भक्ति मींस सीइंग द लोटस फीट ऑफ लॉर्ड दैट इज व्हाट इज टोल्ड इन दिस वर्स नॉट दैट रिमूविंग द डिस्ट्रेस नो distress removal is a secondary effect of bhakti which can be experienced in sadhana stage in form of klesha agni and shubhada that is not the main result of it. it's a side effect just as uh, you are going by train in compartment so let us say second ac third ac water so you get water bottle you get the the bedding and everything right you don't have to separately ask for it 
like separate effect the main thing is to reach the destination right so side effect is displacement evrutti but main effect is in this verse hmm? so what is that verse that is tayeva pashyanti achirena tavakam bhava pravaho paramam padam bhujam so they will see your lotus feet those who discuss your past times right those seeing your lotus feet means attaining prema bhakti so that is the main artha so who will see that so shunvanti those who hear gayanti those who sing grunanti those who accept grunanti has two meanings accept it actually and grunanti also means gungunana because they are relishing so much so they gunguna you know gungunate hain your past times you remember the verses of your past times etc so when there is speaker they will hear shunvanti if there is some audience they will speak if there is no speaker no audience they are alone they will sing for themselves gungunayenge so that's all abhikshana shah means constantly not only that smaranti they will remember and nandanti is very important word what proper translate nandanti as yes take pleasure right what does that mean that if these activities are happening somewhere and one takes pleasure that these activities are happening one takes pleasure and one facilitates those activities through his water influence the resources place or uh, family he has the facilitation of shravanam kirtanam smaranam or appreciation of that that is called nandanti but what what is shunvanti gayanti tava ihitam means your activities those who sing those who hear those who speak those who uh become happy to see others doing that such people are being spoken here they will surely attain prema bhakti they will surely see your lotus feet but the beauty of this verse is the six specific words she is using here in this word so shila vishwana chakru thakur says ta eva eva means what can you say eva when we say eva means what also also certainly certainly, certainly. Only. only yeah only only, only they ta eva means janaha tava ihitam shunvanti gayanti grunanti smaranti nandanti avikshnashah ta eva pashyanti only these people who are doing engaged in these activities will certainly see means others will not see that is the first meaning so this eva applies to each and every word after pashyanti so that's what very beautifully shila vishwanath chakru thakur says so taeva pashyanti means they only will see means others who don't do these things will not able to see will not able to approach prema bhakti achirena eva pashyanti means they will see very quickly not after long period of time tavakam eva pashyanti so they will see you krishna in two hundred form not any other incarnation tavakam eva pashyanti means only krishna bhav pravah uparam eva eva pashyanti means they will only cross over the ocean of material existence not others hmm? not the samsara nivartakam he says that other other time other amsha than all bhav pravah param may not happen but you are get 100% hmm? and they will see padam bhujam eva pashyanti not brahman they will see your lotus feet they will not see the brahman aspect hmm? so that's how 
this eva word is beautifying this word seeing the certainty of the result of prema krishna prem which will come so that is her opinion so this is kunti maharani's opinion in the previous verse and her opinion is established in verse by telling that prema bhakti will be awakening by these activities dis- discussing about krishna etc so this particular purport is extremely important where prabhupad clarifies like previous purport prabhupad said about navavida bhakti right that anyone comes in touch with this navavida bhakti can attain perfection but here prabhupad goes further to tell hmm, what is important hmm, in that navavida bhakti also so before that prabhupad takes the point of pashyanti hmm? pashyanti means they will see hmm? so there are so many people who who see the lord like ravana hiranyakashipu materialist purpose see right you are seeing the purpose yeah materialist they see but they are not able to appreciate the presence of the lord right they saw krishna but they didn't see achinte vedave where they could not actually see krishna so in order to see him one has to change the present vision by developing a different condition of life full of spontaneous love of god so such a brilliant statement that you want to see lord so what we have to do change the vision how to change the vision so change the condition of life the lifestyle and make the lifestyle full of spontaneous love of god what is that these all activities so again point of vision is coming which we discussed before jan janma ishwarya shuta shibir right vision so how that vision can come so prabhupad first is telling about negatives which i told ravana irangana we saw therefore even though lord may be present before our eyes it is not possible to see him unless we have necessary vision so in our case if we are going in front of dt so we are seeing but more our vision is improved more we can see in a more uh, more wonderful way hmm? right so that's the only difference happens the necessary qualification is developed by the process of devotional service only and not by any other process ta eva pashyant only by process of devotional service hmm? beginning with hearing about from right sources so this point is taken ahead that there are so many people who discuss bhagavad gita who recite bhagavad gita you know and they also do but they don't see hmm? so that's what pope was writing ahead right sometimes it is experienced that performance of such activities does not see the lord eye to eye so they are doing all these things but what is the problem there is no right source so then propad writes very special yeah someone can read this part the reason is that the reason is that the first item ravana is very important if hearing is from the right source it act very quickly shrimad bhagavatam 3.25.25 generally people hear from unauthorized person such unauthorized person may be very learned but academic qualification but because they do not follow the principle of devotional service hearing from them becomes a sheer waste of time sometimes the text are interpreted fashionably to suit their own purpose therefore first one should select a comp- and a bona fide speaker and then hear from him shrimad bhagavatam 3.19.33 yeah ma'am the one, minute. Process- one minute yeah, yeah so we'll discuss this first so here propad is making a very important point what he is saying that if hearing is from right source it will have effect acts very quickly right so if right source is taken the the effect is experience so propad himself says that a right source means because he is carrying krishna he propad gives a very graphic example of you know someone who is potent if he he 
engages in activity he will make a woman pregnant because he is potent so prabhupad says that a potent speaker who is uh, at the level you know like authority uh, he is uh, authorized paramparas person and attain the level of devotion of prema he simply by speaking he can make people pregnant with krishna bhakti you know that is his potency it will act very quickly otherwise it is sheer waste of time prabhupada is saying even learned persons but unauthorized because there is interpretation so this is the most dangerous thing interpretation no in to suit our own agenda so then it is sheer waste of time hearing krishna katha is sheer waste of time can you imagine how important is this thing so and fortunately prabhu now there is one great soul who has come here in pune that is his holiness bhanu swami maharaj so take full benefit of his association and by grace of radhesham prabhu he keeps on inviting so many great souls you know by which if we hear from them it will act very quickly and we can experience that because prabhupada is saying here so this same principle is told in this particular verse 3.25.25 by kapil dev himself hmm? so this is the verse which is satam prasangan mama virya samvid bhavanti rit karana rasayana katha so you just read this because we have lack of time so i would request you to please read this part yeah yeah please read this part this prabhu pad yeah read if we actually take advantage of association of realized person and if we hear from them then the result is that it becomes very pleasing to the heart and the ears satam prasangam not to one may be a realized soul in describing the signs of krishna then the result will be the audience will feel that it is very nice to hear and it is very appealing to the heart In this particular purport, Shila Vishwana Chakra Thakur writes a very essential point, which I will just mention and then we will go further. So what he says is this, Prabhu, is that when we hear from excellent association, pure devotees, then the anartha nivrutti takes place because of the katha they speak. Okay? And then you can go from shaddha, ratir, bhaktir, anukramishyati, one can go very f- further in he can go advance from bhajan kriya anarth nivrutti nishtha ruchi etc this is the essence of the verse so there, there she, he says that if one the association which is not excellent association then only bhajan kriya happens anarth nivrutti doesn't prominently happen so that's the problem anarth nivrutti will happen when the anarthas are reached anarthas are reached by a pure personality by his words if we take that in our ears with great sincerity hmm? so that's what is the process of shravanam that's what prabhupada is telling here so and prabhupada is telling us here select the competent bona fide speaker and hear from him you know so this purport will not go now so just feed ahead when the hearing process is perfect when the hearing process is perfect and complete the other sessions become automatically perfect in their own way there are different transcendental activities of the lord and each and every one of them are competent to bestow the desired results providing the hearing process is perfect yeah in so, yeah yeah thank you so that's why here the importance is we receive properly navida bhakti begins with hearing that doesn't mean that it ends with hearing no the substance 
of all other activities is going to come from the message the pure intentions pure desires of all other activities of kirtanam smaranam pada sevanam will come from process of hearing because the substance and form so in form we may do many many activities we may be very busy and very nice but the substance of bhakti is why we are doing what we are doing so that will happen that will be questioned that will be uh, uh, purified when we hear from such people you know so prabhupada is saying that only if you make that perfect and complete so see two words perfect and complete so it's about when you do that is perfect that is we discussed this earlier right shra va na someone can remember what was shra means and va means and na means shravan process can someone share if some of you remember uh, 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 yes, uh, means, uh, and, uh, no means va means varan and na means namrata ah shra means shra means what shraddha 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 on what on the uh, subject matter yeah not only subject matter shraddha on subject matter of the scripture or bhagavatam chetan charita amrit bhagavad gita shraddha on vyasasan person who is authorized to sit because ved vyas is going to empower that person and shraddha on the process so these are all three faiths shra and what is varan means we try to accept what is being said but if you are not able to accept then you humbly enquire submissively enquire with the desire to accept it and then na means namrata means becoming prideless and humble means we don't try to judge the speaker with a challenging mood we don't try to remember some problems which he has done no right now he is sitting on vyasas and ved vyas is empowering his guru is blessing him let us hear so when we do this then the shravan process can be done properly with uh, proper environment of our heart so perfect and complete then other processes become automatically perfect in their own way so like that so that's how this prabhupada is specifically saying Hmm? and there are different transcendental activity all are competent to best over the result all the navida bhakti can give prema but provided hearing is perfect because that only give will give the right substance the purity and the unalloyedness in the activity and emotion will come by this hmm? so that's what prabhupad is emphasizing in this purport here and what to hear can we directly hear gopi katha no so please read this one must yes. hear about the lord from the very beginning as in the shrimad bhagavatam or any other scriptures and that will help the hearer attain perfection by progress one should progress not be for yes prabhuji yeah, yeah read read Uh, one should not therefore consider that his dealings with the pandavas are less important than the dealings with the gopis we must always remember that the lord is always transcendental to all the, all mundane attachments yeah thank you so we have to hear also but we have to hear it from very beginning means we have to hear from 1.1.1 onwards page by page canto by canto chapter by chapter not that we directly jump there as all of you are doing that is wonderful hmm? from the very beginning that will help the hearer what what will help for progressive development in the perfection hmm? so perfection is very very high but will progressively develop in that hmm? so that's what will happen by proper shravanam and proper way of shravanam hmm? so that's what is told in this verse so now 37 onwards as i told the the most important part of her feelings of separations are beginning from the text 37 and that's the that's how the the pinnacle of that is 
her expression in verse 42 right? and so we'll uh, begin that but i think prabhu wanted to do some announcement so that can be done now i think anuj prabhu uh, you want to do now hare krishna anuj prabhu is of or anyone has any question about what we discussed anuch ko okay uh, prabhu so, ji what has happened no in barsana there is no light since yesterday so i think his laptop is discharged yeah possible so yeah, yeah, yeah. that may be fine fine so we continue he wanted to announce as soon as he comes we will announce something so we go ahead if uh, nothing is there to discuss the last amazing part of our prayers text 37 very beautiful prayer अप्यनस्तम स्वकृते हित प्रभो जिहा ससे स्वितुरदोन जीवन ये पदाबुजा परायण राजसुयोजिता हसा प्लीज रीड द ट्रांसलेशन ओ माय लॉर्ड यू हैव एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑल ड्यूटीज युअर सेल्फ आर यू लिविंग अस टुडे though we are completely dependent on your mercy and have no one else to protect us now when all kings are at enmity with us yeah so this word sort as i told before that our uh, desire that my dear lord we become happy when we see you and we become unhappy when you we don't see you hmm? the time of happiness has ended now time of distress has began because you are going that's the the theme of the next few verses actually hmm? so uh, just to begin before this verse one thing i wanted to show specifically what prabhupa says in this about the shrunvanti gayanti grananti abhishnasha the process is very important to be followed actually hmm? so please read this uh, what you are seeing this is from bhagavad gita purport you know how this uh, shavanam kirtamane is important and that is the core activity that is expected by prabhupad hmm? so please read this this is in the verse of 13.8 to 12 hmm? please read this this is about householder life you know very brilliantly prabhupad says what is to be done yeah please as for as for detachment from children wife and home it is not meant that one should have no feeling for this they are natural objects of affection but when they are not favorable to spiritual progress then one should not be attached to them the best process for making the home pleasant is krishna consciousness if one is in full krishna consciousness he can make his home very happy because this process of krishna consciousness is very easy one need only chant hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna krishna, 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 krishna hare 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 ram hare ram hare ram 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 hare hare accept the remnant of food stuffs offered to krishna have some discussions on book like bhagavad gita and shrimad bhagavatam and engage oneself in deity worship these four things will make one happy one should train the member of his family in this way the family member can sit down morning and evening and chant together hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare if one can to develop krishna consciousness following these four principles then there is no need to change from family life to renounced life but if it is not congenial not favorable for spiritual advancement then family life should be abandoned one must sacrifice everything to realize or serve krishna just as arjuna did yeah so here prabhupada is speaking very deeply the importance of these four things which you know all of us are chanting hare krishna 16 rounds the other three things are also there you know just have discussion about books 
ભગવદ્ ગીતા અને ભાગવત ધીસ ફોર થિંગ્સ ધેર ઓનલી ધી શ્રવણ કીર્તન સ્મરણ નંદન ઓલ ધી થીસ થિંગ્સ ઇઝ ધેર રાઈટ સો ઇફ ધીસ ફોર થિંગ આર ધેર પ્રભુપાદ ઇઝ સેઇંગ ધેન યુ ડોન્ટ ઇવન હેવ ટુ રિનાઉન્સ એટ ધેટ્સ વોટ પ્રભુપાદ ઇઝ સેઇંગ એટ બીકોઝ ઇટ હેઝ પોટેન્સી ધેટ પોટેન્સી ટુ મેક એવરી વન હેપી સો ધેટ્સ વાય ઇટ ઇઝ વેરી નેસેસરી ઇટ મે એપિયર વેરી સિમ્પલ એક્ચુઅલી બટ આર વી ડુઈંગ ધીસ ફોર થિંગ્સ this is the question to be asked so prashadam and all everything but uh, every day propose whatever time we have so i congratulate many of you or all of you practically you know you are taking out your time from your busy uh, life and doing this course you know some of you are doing you know husband and wife together there is nothing better than this you know discussing bhagavatam studying and learning bhagavatam together and chanting hare krishna worshiping deity and taking prasad that's all there is there is nothing like rocket science what to do as per prabhupada's purport there is nothing else to be done actually in one sense if these four things are done properly hmm? and these four things need to be facilitated also right prabhupada is telling train family members in this way then everything will be fine so that's how it's a very very essential the core practices doing at a regular basis is the substance of bhakti hmm? if we can do that then nothing can stop us in progress hmm? no other ulterior motivation can come if we are in touch with hari naam and hari katha regularly hmm? so uh, now going further this uh, now this first particular which we began <clears throat> so anuj prabhu has come or okay fine so this particular verse uh, kunti maharani is telling my dear lord appi adya nastvam today you are jihasasi you are leaving us who are we swit surudo anujivana we are your own people hmm? swid means what oh, yeah swid means possibly suruda we are all your heart to heart intimate and not only that anu jivana hame we are living at the mercy of you completely dependent on you so how can you live it is inappropriate for you my lord to live so lord may say vishuna chakruti thakur is saying hmm? so having heard from her that you know seeing you is happiness and now our happiness time is over and distress time is beginning like that her feeling is there so lord is saying my dear kunti do you desire to leave us today say not kunti uh, krishna is telling that i have stayed many days almost like four months lord was there you know before the war during the war and for some time after the war huh so i have stayed many days now now must i go to dwarka i have necessary work there please give me your permission so she krishna is telling like that in a great sweetness that please give me permission to go i have my 16108 wives waiting and children are there so big family is waiting there for me in separation from me so please me give me permission to go kunti devi you are my aunt you are my superior please give me permission to go so kunti manan is saying that uh, no you are swakrute hita means you can make things successful simply by desiring all your duties are self executed means what you have potency to expand yourself and satisfy them also so you can be with us you can be with them so you are all duties where are your duties not happening you just desire and everything happens so sakrute hita prabhu means you are competent to do that my lord and how can you give up anu jivana hami we are depending completely on you yesham cha anyat bhavatah padam bhuja parayanam rajasu yojitam hasa means because we are dependent on you means what we don't have anything else other than you and your lotus feet in shelter of your lotus na chanyat bhavatah 
Pajan, your lotus feet, we don't have other shelter and you are our protector. So how can you give up, my Lord? Now, now that the, all the Kauravas are finished, now their sons, daughters and other family members, they are going to become hateful and revengeful to us. Rajasu Yoji Tamhatam. We have done so much of cruelty in terms of killing so many. Now their relatives, friends and family members are going to attack us back with great envy and great uh, desire to take revenge. So this is more dangerous now. How can you leave now, my lord? You cannot leave. We are living because of you. So Kunti Maharani using this word, Anujivana means, she is remembering entire past so many activities where actually Krishna was helping them at every time. Just to give an example or two examples is actually all the Pandavas in the war or before it also, even in Agyatvas, beginning from Hidimba, Rakshas. No? So Arjuna in the battle only so many times. When actually when the horses of uh, Arjuna's chariot were tired. So Krishna got down and fed the water to them. That time all the great people, warriors, were sending so many arrows. But Arjuna was not even hit by one single arrow. So why it is happening? So this is remembered by Arjuna in 15th chapter when you go. 15th chapter of this very beautiful chapter. Arjuna's remembrance of Krishna. In separation. So, Arjuna was hit only once by Karna's arrow actually. When it was about to hit his face. But Krishna pressed the chariot so quickly that that, put, uh, you know, that arrow went to his kirit and it fell down. That's the only time when it happened. Otherwise, Krishna protected completely Arjuna. All the time, whenever Jayadrath Whenever Karana, whenever so many others attacked actually. So there was no attack on Arjuna. And same is the case with Bhima, with Narayana. He was not ready to bow down. So Krishna has to beat him to make him bow down. So Arjuna, so Krishna has personally taken great anxiety to protect Pandavas at every moment. Not only in the battle, but in uh, Agyatvas, every place practically when the envious members were sending Durvas Muni and all. So Krishna was there all the time. Anu Jeevana. So we are completely dependent on you. How can you go now? How my children are more in danger now? Whom you have been protecting since so many days. So now how can you go? So that is her mood in this particular verse. It is inappropriate for you to go. Hmm? So Prabhupada takes this one word and the whole purport is on this one word. Very important word that is Anujivanaha. The dependence on Krishna. So that's what is told here. <clears throat> it is the most fortunate case when we can live completely dependent on him. The false attempt to become independent of stringent laws of nature is known as artificial advancement of experimental knowledge. So actually this is the fallacy of current culture that the dependence on the Lord has become completely void. On the name of material advancement, material education, material uh, possessions, there is and the material so many uh, uh, the, the objects which we get right nowadays. So dependence has gone away from Krishna. We think we depend on some things of this world, some objects of this world. No, but everything is coming from Krishna. So that is what is this Maya does. And Maya makes us fully convinced that we are independent. We can do whatever we want. So this false attempt is nothing but all scientists are doing to conquer death, to conquer disease, to conquer corona and conquer so many other things. To conquer old age. This is all material advancement. Material advancement this is all because of falsely wanting to become independent. Actually, this is a very deep desire in the heart of a conditioned soul to become independent. 
not only the conditioned soul but even devotees are practicing devotees but this dependence on krishna is very very important that's why bhakti vinod thakur is saying no that what is uh, uh, bada dukha paiya chi swatantra jeevan dukhe dure gelo opada varane means i am distressed because of my independent mentality so that's what is being addressed here so prabhupad explains that only in detail yeah please read this part that's all whole but thing you can read. the high but the highest goal of human civilization is to work hard under the guidance of the lord and become completely dependent on him the highest achievement of perfect civilization is to work with valor but at the same time depend completely on the lord the pandavas were the ideal executors of the standard of civilization undoubtedly they were completely dependent on the goodwill of the lord shri krishna but they were not ideal parasites of the lord they were idol idol qualified idol parasites yeah idol this is another parasites. extreme yeah reader they were all highly qualified both by personal characters and by physical activities still they always look for the mercy of the lord because they knew that every living entity is dependent by constitutional position the perfection of life is therefore to become dependent on the will of the lord instead of becoming falsely independent in the material world krishna yeah. consciousness and responsible not falsely so you read ahead those, those who try who, to those who try to become falsely independent of the lord are called anantha or without a guardian anath anath yeah we have to become sanath sanath Sanat. that's how prabhupad says so what is one point prabhupad is saying here is see the right civilization is understanding dependence on krishna this is one part hmm? which is a fact which we have to consciously perceive that if simply for getting up onwards everything depends on krishna i cannot move my hand without mercy of krishna so that is the first point so the pandavas were fully realized in that so having said that prabhupada is going in another direction now saying that okay i am dependent on lord so i become lazy idle parasite so prabhupada then sir writes that you know the renunciate should not become idle parasites of society you know they take dependence from the grahasthas and they become idle lazy so prabhupada is telling the other side that that is that dependence does not mean that see the pandavas they are highly skilled highly qualified and they were perfect in physical character physical activities as well as personal character right so all the skills were there character fame everything was there so in spite of that they were fully active and fully dependent so this is what is exclusive devotion without within and exclusive dedication without these two combinations pandava had that is the perfection of life otherwise one can have more more and more and more skills and abilities and influence and like that but if dependence is missing a person is thinking i am the doer you know then that is not the proper consciousness there can be exclusive dedication or so called dedication outside but exclusive devotion is missing because exclusive devotion leads to dependence that is arjuna Hmm? that is pandavas they are fully dependent so they are most qualified actually bhima says that bhishma says in next chapter you will read yatra dharma suto raja gada prani vrtakodara krishnotri gandivam chapam surut krishna tato vipat oh how wonderful is influence of time it is irreversible otherwise how can be reverses in presence of king yudhishthir the son of demigod controlling religion bhima the great fighter and great bowman arjuna these all people are there 
so they are all perfections and how can such a distress come to you that's what he is saying you know vishnu so in this purport prabhupa says despite power of pious acts the power of personalities the power of expert management the power of weapons under direct supervision of krishna the pandavas suffered so many practical reverses which can only be explained is due to influence of time hmm? so the dependent means to consciously understand that krishna is in control hmm? i am not in control so that's what is, actually this is a very important aspect of practice of devotional service which kunti maharani is showing here the dependence on krishna the genuine dependence that we cannot be anything without him we just are non entities prabhupad will say in the next verse he will say that so this is important actually uh, sankarshan das adhikari prabhu was asked by one devotee that what is meaning of going deeper in krishna consciousness so he said going deeper in krishna consciousness means at every moment we are dependent on krishna so actually that is what is uh, the important not the external not the results not the influence which we have or we don't have or the followers or the fame or the objects or the fruits or the salary or the or the possessions all these things are there or if they are there not there but this should not interfere our dependence on krishna hmm? so that's what actually kunti maharani is expressing her dependency so we have to become sanat he say so but we must try to become sanat means we are always dependent on krishna dependent on krishna's representative the spiritual master we are not independent nor we relish independence but bada dukha paiya chi swatantra jeevan by the deluding power of the external nature we forget that the mortal condition of life is the most undesirable perplexity so why dependence is not there because we don't feel only there is a problem and problem is there then we start depending na looking for shelter and then shelter means dependence so we forget maya because of her advertisements and bombarding makes us forget the dangerous perplexity of this world so we take shelter of krishna so pandavas are mahatmas they are all perfect but they are not lazy but they are not crazy so they are not proud of their great powers but they are not lazy also so that's why propad made that powerful statement what is that the, the perfection of life he is therefore become dip, dependent on will of lord instead of becoming falsely independent in the material world so that is what is we have to act with valor no what is where is that statement yeah this is the perfect civilization is to work with valor but at the same time depend on mercy of krishna so it's both hmm? highest achievement of civilization is that depend on krishna and do uh, so many wonderful activities to please krishna according to our adhikar and duty So that's what Prabhupada, he concludes, Prabhupada concludes saying that uh, what we already discussed. It is not that only Pandavas who were put into that condition of enmity, but all of us all are always in such condition. See, Prabhupada is saying always, not that now things are going nice. No. Metal world is Dukkhala Mashashyata. And the best way of living is to become completely dependent on the will of the Lord and thereby become overcome all the difficulties of material existence so actually that's why this is one of the core feelings of a devotee is his dependence hmm? so same feeling continues in the text 38 very nice verse kevayam nam rupabhyam yadu bisah pandava bhavato darshanam yarihi rishikanam iveshitu ho yeah, please read ahead translation can someone hari krishna prabhu ji as the name and fame of particular body is finished with the dis- disappearance of the living spirit similarly if you do not look upon us all our fame and activities along with the pandavas and yadus will end at once yeah 
So Krishna may say that, Are, you have these Pandavas, you have the skill of archery, you have the power of Bhima, and Nakul Sahadev, all of you are very powerful. Replying that anticipation, Kunti is replying in this way, that my dear Lord, what is this? Kevayam Nama Rupabhya. Our Nam means our fame and our Rup means our influence. What is that, my Lord? Yadubhi Saha Pandava. That is not nothing without you. Hmm? We may have some name and some influence because of you. Hmm? It is not because of us. Hmm? That's what is being said here. So, who are the Pandavas with the Yadus having fame and ability without your presence? Hmm? So, Bhavato Adarshanam Yarihi. If you are not there, these all things are void. Hmm? And she gives an analogy to help us and Krishna understand her predicament. Rishikanam Iveshitu. Just as the senses become dead if the soul leaves the body. That is the condition of us. We may have great, great skills, abilities, fame, but if you are going, my Lord, it's all zero. Hmm? Nothing. It was there because of you and it will be there only because of you. If you are going, there is nothing. No one can protect us. Even Bhishma, Bhima cannot protect us. No. So, your going is inappropriate. So, same. So, so Prabhupada continues the theme of previous verse. So, Prabhupada uses very beautiful word here. So, yeah, please read this. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. The Pandavas are undoubtedly well established in the name and fame and are guided by great King Yudhishthir, who is morally pers morality personified. And the Yadus are undoubtedly great allies. Yadu Bihi. So very nice allies and very nice leader, Dharma. But without guidance of Krishna, all of them are non-entities. As much as the senses of body are useless without guidance of consciousness. No one should be proud of his prestige, power and fame without being guided by the favor of the Supreme Lord. We may therefore invent by our advancement of material knowledge, all sorts of counteracting material resources. But without being guided by the Lord, all such inventions end in fiasco. However strong and stout the reactionary elements may be. A very, very powerful word so for this use. The first amazing word is non-entity. Actually, this is how a devotee like Kunti Marani is feeling. That without you, I am non-entity. Non-entity means there is no existence on it. So, such a elevated state of consciousness. That we, Prabhupada says in that purport, 115.21, that we should not become proud of borrowed plumes. So, borrowed plumes means our skills, abilities, prestige, power, fame. We should not become proud of that. Because why? Because they are borrowed plumes. Everything belongs to Krishna. Even myself only belongs to Krishna. What to speak of my skills? My body, my mind, my existence belongs to Krishna. So where is the question of becoming proud? So that's what Prabhupada is warning us here. That one should not become proud of anything. Because understand, we are non-entities. Right now I am able to... If Krishna doesn't want, the next moment I can fall here. Because where is the question of abilities without Krishna? So that's what is being said here. Hmm. So, that, that is one thing. Second thing Prabhupada is telling that if you do counteracting material resources, use all your intelligence and everything, all the inventions end with fiasco. So, fiasco is a very heavy word. It's all chaos. However strong and stout the reactionary elements may be. Hmm. So, without dependence on Lord, only material advancement of knowledge will end in fiasco. So, because it doesn't teach dependence on Krishna, it doesn't open our eyes. 
so that's what actually is told in this particular verse now next three verses he is telling the power of glance of krishna and power of lotus feet of krishna very beautiful verses so we'll just read those verses i in 2 3 minutes neyam shobhai shobhishyate tatra yathe danim gadadhara tat padai rankita bhati va lakshana vilakshitai yeah please read the translation oh gadadhar krishna our kingdom is now being marked by the impressions of your lotus feet of your feet and therefore it appears beautiful when you dig they no longer be so yeah if you go this land will not glow <laughs> that's what kunti maharani is saying hmm? here shobhishyate means it will not glow it will not shine it will not flourish if you go because why it is flourishing because of your lotus feet tat padai rankita bhati va lakshana vilakshitai my dear lord because of your presence only everything is the lotus feet are touching that's why this land has become glorious so this is one verse which she is saying that and next verse she is telling about how krishna's glance is the source of our flourishing things text 40 ime janapada suruddha upakva shadhi virudha mana dri dunvan nanto yedante tava vikshitai Yeah, please read the translation. All these cities and villages are flourishing in all respects because the herbs and grains are in abundance. The trees are full of fruits. The rivers are flowing. The hill are hills are full of minerals and the oceans full of wealth. And this is all yeah. you are glancing over them. Yeah. So this is the devotee's Krishna conscious vision that he is able to understand and appreciate Krishna. and understand that the flourishing will come by krishna on so that's how her understanding is there this all things she is enlisting so many things right from the vanaspatis aushadis the trees and the rivers everything this is flourishing because of your glance it is not just by nature you are lakshmi pati no so the currently the the scientist and all they say everything comes by nature but who's nature it is so that's the point which prabhupa takes actually and he says a very important principle here that is very nice line human prosperity flourishes by natural gifts and not by gigantic industrial enterprise so that's how simple living and i think so that is what is natural gifts mean you know not that why what is the problem with gigantic enterprises is yeah is what prabhupa says here that because this all the materialistic things it sucks all our energy which has to be used for devotional service so noble aims of life are gone that is subtle destruction and very harmful destruction the goal of life hmm? and other thing is the objects and troublesome industry squeeze out the vital energy of human being then he doesn't have energy left only the more there will be unrest and dissatisfaction of people in general although few only can live lavishly by exploitation so the leaders of companies they will only be rich and living very exploit they will live nicely and all the workers they will be squeezed out so that's what prabhupada is saying so um, natural living the more we attempt to exploit the material nature according to our whims of enjoyment the more shall we become entrapped in the reactions of such exploitative attempts so this is another problem that is that's why our faith and our vision should be in direct of krishna and we should try to withdraw from this engagement in material activities as we are going ahead more simpler and more natural then otherwise we'll get entrapped you know that's why prabhupada actually said that 50% of my work is remaining you know? so a very conducive place to practice bhakti in a sustainable way is actually a setting of a village prabhupada wanted 
temples in city to preach actually and people can nicely practice in more conducive environment of nature in villages what we need therefore is to be obedient to the laws of the lord and achieve the perfection of human life by devotional service so yeah so tomorrow we continue from here so uh, anuj prabhu you want to make announcement yes prabhu ji yes. i am sorry in between uh, it's around 4 o'clock we were thinking to make announcement but yes prabhu i was also disconnected uh, sorry yeah uh, please wait for the announcements although time is already gone please hear them attentively and tomorrow will be the last day of tolerance for you you have been tolerating me since many days yeah please go ahead anush you announce i'll i'll just pass water and come yes sir uh, hari krishna devotees we had wonderful sessions by prabhu ji so tomorrow will be the last session for uh, unit 4 and for one hour we will continue with the verses it will get over in one hour and next one hour we will have question and answers so devotees can ask uh, questions related to like the whatever we have covered and also like from the exam perspective if they have any question related to oba or cba so tomorrow we will get uh, one hour for that and then we had announced a long back on 11th june itself that exam will be on uh, 8th july we were expecting to complete this uh, unit last week itself but there was rath yatra and like we missed some time and it got extended so we are completing it tomorrow so this time it is exam is within like one week so that's why like instead of saturday like some devotee requested to do on uh, sunday so i have just created a poll so if all of you are available on sunday as well then we can shift the exam to 9th of july Uh, sunday and exam on anyways like whichever day we decide it will be on 2:30 to 4 pm during class time only so i request the devotees to uh, immediately uh to free me so that we can decide now itself uh respond to that poll on whatsapp uh are all of you able to see the poll yes prabhu and uh, like so that it becomes faster i seem like more, most of the devotees have chosen 9th july uh, is there anyone who is not available on 9th july sunday else we can fix it on uh, 9th july prabhu ji i prefer 8th july sunday is more classes and everything in the temple okay mata ji i'm like prefer that's what i'm saying if it is not according to uh okay uh, mata let us see like uh, if uh, uh, like what many devotees if there is majority book- yeah I see thirteen devotees have only responded. Uh, can others also respond uh, fast? Okay, Prabhu Ji. If everyone is saying ninth, let's let it be, Prabhu Ji. Then I'll manage. Uh, okay, Mata Ji. so uh, i think uh, everyone is okay with 9th july then then we will have our, our uh, unit 3 oba sorry cba on uh, 9th of july and uh, tomorrow like one hour we will have class and one hour uh, q and a sessions on this unit whatever like maybe from exam perspective or in general and uh, in case if anyone is not able to attend like for suddenly for some reason not able to attend the cb exam this time i will be uh, circulating one uh, form which will help us track because some devotees 
miss and like it's difficult to track who has missed who has not attended so i'll send one google form so that you will get on whatsapp so uh, that's it uh, from my side so project uh, can we end or like you would like to take quick question answers now also if it is if you it is have something to express i am available for some time if it is there if anyone has some reflections on this glorious players of kunti devi we'll be happy to hear or discuss anything if it is there yes uh, yashika mata ji you had something yes prabhu ji hari krishna prabhu ji dhanand pranam prabhu ji yahan pe actually in text number 39 Uh, text number 39 yes yes in translation o gadadhara krishna to uh, prabhu ji uh, why uh, uh, krishna is uh, uh, i mean uh, they have uh, why they have mentioned gadadhara hmm this name of krishna is a very unique name right yeah gadadhara uh, I faintly remember something, but I am not sure about it. So I'll get back to you tomorrow. Hmm? I I believe there is uh, one brother of Krishna. I uh, I'm sorry, miss. I'm not able to find. Anyone knows the meaning of this word? One thing is very direct. That is one who is holder of gada, right? But generally, Krishna will not hold that, isn't it? that's how she is asking the question so uh, uh there is uh, i think some brother of krishna and he is elder brother or something like that so i'll i'll clarify and get back to you okay. anything else anyone has project can i ask one question like not related to this exact topic but just uh, like uh, we see the case of ashwatha Ah. Yes. So, Ashwatthama, like Lord, also punished him. So, I just wanted to know what should be our outlook towards uh, Ashwatthama and such people. Like, what should be like? I mean, we should should we praise them? I mean, how should we look at them? Ah, I means you are talking yeah. about people who have similar uh, for outlook, yeah, outlook, mentality, and activities like Ashwatthama. Is it? yeah or as person as a person towards ashwatha because just like uh, so some people who go to for Nar- narmata parikrama and all they say that they are able to see or i mean witness somehow uh, the presence of ashwatha and he helps people in the sense but uh, how should we understand i mean should we also condemn him for his activities what how should we look at uh, him like what is the what is the way we can understand uh, whether he has to be glorified or his activities have to be condemned or because they yeah. are all great souls for us i mean should we offend them or how should be our outlook toward actually uh, one thing is he is uh, one of the amar person also right so yes, it yes. is said that uh, he was there means but his time see amar here means relative okay relative amar means what a very long life span than earth, other people so it is mentioned in mahabharat that it is 2000 or 3000 years like that so amaratva in bhautik material world also has limitation right even devatas are called amar so, but amar means relatively relative to earth they live very long like that so he is one of the eight i think na there are eight people who are amar i was just looking for that i had marked that so he is one of them so uh, and uh, there is some kind of story also that he is uh, he is wandering and asking for some oil or something like that but if that is also so but already 5000 years have passed away i think if you see that hmm? so factually uh so is saying he is there is uh, shastra is saying mama it is only for these many years he will be there hmm? right so this is one thing which uh, uh, is there second thing i also heard 
about he getting mercy from Shrimati Radharani like that. I don't know. Have you heard? Nundavan, there is some place. Hmm? Yes, yes, uh, I have heard. Yeah, so that way, that is the highest of compassion, Radharani. No? So she must became merciful to him. So that's another story. So, but uh, we can surely see him as a instrument in enacting the Lord's pastime. Because Lord's pastimes are enacted by these personalities. So, we should all have a respectful vision towards them. At the same time, we should see what they are teaching us hmm? through their actions and behavior, etc. And the mentality. So, but we should have respectful vision towards them and uh, uh, see them in that perspective. Hmm? So, we don't see like uh, Dipan any till till the time that past time of you know in Vrindavan. So, I wanted to confirm that long back I had heard, I don't remember fully. So, if that is the case, then there is devotion also. Hmm? So, uh, this is how we can see because all the characters. In Bhagavatam, their names are there in Bhagavatam. So that that is their glory. So that way we can see. Just as uh, other day, His Krishna Nantra was saying here, no, don't offend Indra. No? Indra might be committing so many dangerous mistakes, but he is teaching us uh, what we should not be doing. And actually, if we are also given the power of Indra, no? So, we will do more mistakes than them. That is 100% sure. So, because we don't have such like, even Ashwatthama was quite powerful in that sense. Hmm? As a son of Dronacharya. So, if we have those powers today, uh, what, would we have used them in proper way? At least I am doubtful about myself. If I have little little uniqueness somewhere, then immediately pride comes and, you know, wrong vision, wrong interactions. So, it's very dangerous. So, that is another thing. So, we minimum respect and learn from everyone, including Ashwatthama. Hmm? Okay, bro. Thank you so much, bro. And it is so difficult even to get such power. Anush Prabhu is saying, yeah, in Kali Yuga, Difficult also. But one way is easy. When you don't want power, when you want to serve powerful, then you can get any amount of power. Because Krishna is all powerful. So there is one way to get power easily. Without desiring for it, in one sense, but to serve the all powerful consciously for him, then the like Prabhupada was empowered by Krishna, by his Guru. Hmm? So although it is difficult, neither we want it, neither we strive for it. But if it comes, we will use in Krishna's service. Hmm? If it doesn't come, whatever we have, we will use in Krishna's service. That way. Hmm? Yeah. Yes, I think, yeah. Prabhuji, I have heard that uh, Ashwatthama is going to become the next Indra. Yes, very true. Perfect. Actually, very important thing what you mentioned. Next Indra is he on. <laughs> Indra is such a powerful... Actually, it, it is given to a very qualified person. You know, Indra. So, Ashwatthama is going to become that also. In next Manthar, I believe, right? Next Manvantar, Ashwatthama will be Indra. So that is his qualification. And we see him in right perspective. Yes, Prabhu, so anything else? Anyone else has? Uh, Prabhuji, uh, how do Acharyas uh, see this that like Ashwatthama will become Indra in uh, next one mantra? Or like this is the Man mantra in which Lord Chaitanya appeared like out of like so many like once in day of uh, Brahma. Hmm. Actually, see, it is this information is there in Shabda Pramana in the scriptures. Hmm? 
so it is not that uh, some acharya is saying ashwatthama will become indra if you read eighth canto of shrimad bhagavatam who will become this universal administration is explained hmm? so every lot of things are foretold you know what is going to happen so because this there are six things which are told for each manvant and they are that's what is going to happen who is manu who is manu putra who is indra who are the seven sages and uh, who is the manvantar avatar these are the six six krishna does the management or i would say management is not the best word administration universal administration so his people are first if you read eighth canto what is the chapter chapter number i forgot maybe around 14 15 somewhere there it is predicted for next seven manvantaras also all these things are predicted in the shabda praman hmm? so that's how uh, there are things which are uh, going to happen and within that there is a freedom for living entities for executing their free will the overall plan is fixed right the brahma ji the four yugas the 71 divya yugas one day of brahma and uh, seven, uh, no that is uh, 14 manvantaras and then the life of them these all things are fixed but in between whatever happens is there is all free will and karma and all these things so it is not that any particular acharya is saying per se but it is written in a scripture directly like bhagavatam for example ved vyas himself has written this and in some cases actually sages get revelation so that's why i said first shabda so shabda is something which has manifested at the time of creation in the first day of uh, brahma when creation happened for the first time for brahma in, first time in the sense i am talking about this brahma so the shabda has come out from lord vishnu's breath so that entirety of shabda is there in the ether in this uh, creation of this universe but some the shabda is revealed to certain particular sage at a particular time so that's why they start writing that samhita you have seen yagyavalkya smriti you know or some samhita yagyavalkya smriti means what actually it was there in shabda but yagyavalkya because of his uh, purity and uh, his intentions to help the everything so shabda came through his smriti so he wrote that yagyavalkya smriti so like that so that's how the shabda is there so bhagavatam four vedas is all things have come from that so which all is coming from the lord's breathing actually at the beginning on so that way shabda was okay bro does that make some sense yes bro ji thank you bro ji yes prabhu so so tomorrow's plan is uh, as you suggested me earlier right one hour we will uh, wind up this chapter this last few beautiful verses of kunti and then the yudhishthir's lamentation hmm? so we will able to do it in one hour and then uh, we will have one hour of some question answers whatever way you want me to serve you i will try my best already i have extended i beg forgiveness for that extended i think one day or so but thank you all very much for giving me opportunity to uh, reflect on kunti maharani spray hare krishna grantaraj shrimad bhagavatam ki jai shila prabhupad ki jai shrimati kunti maharani ki jai jai gaur premanand hari 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 thank you thank you very much prabhu ji hare krishna thank you prabhu ji